Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, lived a ruler named King Kindness. He was always kind and fair to all the people, no matter their status in life. He was well-liked and had many friends. On one royal morning... Well, good morning, fellow guard. How are you this lovely morning? Just fine, your majesty. Thank you for asking, sir. So what's on the agenda for this morning? A shepherd has a problem and would like to speak to you. Well, please, show him in. Oh, king, king, oh, royal king, my sheep, my sheep. Take your time, take your time. My sheep are running out of grazing area. If they run out of grazing area, they'll starve, and if they'll starve, they'll die. And if they die, then I'll be out of job. And what will I do if I'm out of a job? Calm down, calm down. Just everything will be okay. Just take what you need from my land. I have more than I need. Oh, thank you, dear king. How can I repay you? With taking care of our kingdom's sheep. That is all. I will, I will. Thank you, thank you. You are so kind. As the years passed, the king continued to show much kindness in all his decisions in his kingdom. The people loved him and his kingdom prospered. Then one very, very sad day, King Kindness died at a very ripe old age. Unfortunately, King Kindness only had one hair, and that was his nephew, King Meanness. He took over the kingdom and treated the people poorly, without any kindness. He had few friends, if any, and many enemies. And on one royal morning... Guard! Guard! Where is that guard? Good for nothing guard! Guard! <gasps> yes, sir! Yes, yes, sir! What problems await today? Well, sir, I, I'm glad you asked because... Just tell me already. A shepherd is here to speak to you about his problem. It, it, it is. It okay, is. show him in and get this over with. Oh, your majesty. You you are so great and I need your help. Who isn't? My sheep will soon run out of grazing area and they will surely die of starvation without more land. And what do you expect from me to you? Give you my land? Please, King, please help me. I need your help. Go. You tire me, Gar guard. Take him away. How absurd. Uh, uh, sir, sir, there's something I must tell you. What? The, an army is coming to take over your kingdom. <laughs> well, take my army. Uh, uh, sir, you don't have an army. Well, then get the villagers. Well, the problem is, sir, that you, you scared everybody away out of your, your land. Only the weak and the poor are left. Nobody wants to be here with you. They all left. They went to different kingdoms. Who is going to fight in your army against this army that's coming? Well, you will, then. Uh, uh, sir, no, I don't think so. I, I'm sorry. I must go, too. We are taking over this kingdom. And now you are our prisoner. Who are you? Where's my army? Where's my people? Please, let me go. No. So as we see in Luke 6, 31, do to others as you would have them do unto you. Proverbs eleven seventeen says, those who are kind benefit themselves, but mean people bring ruin on themselves. Ephesians 4, 32 says, Be kind and tender, tender to one another, and forgive one another, just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. Thank you for joining our skit. Hi, hello, future. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our show. And... I know I sure did, but what really taught me was how the one king, the king of kindness, really had a flourishing kingdom because he was so good to others, and then the king of meanness didn't at all because he was just, he had no heart. He didn't help people. And it just reminded me of the verse of do unto others as you would do to them, or what we know as the golden rule as well. Yes, and we all love that rule. We know we pretty much memorize it, especially if you're in school. It's one of the things that we 
Memorize is do unto others as you have them do unto you. Yes, exactly. But that's actually in the Bible. Yes. That's what God and Jesus had instructed us how to treat other people, to love them and to be kind to them and treat them as the, your own, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to use Skittles. <gasps> Some fun Skittles. How many of you like Skittles? <laughs> I love Skittles. We love Skittles. And if you don't have Skittles around, you can also use M&M's. <laughs> And if you don't have M&Ms, yeah. any, colorful, any colorful food, Fruit mm -hmm. Loops, fruit, anything like that. But we're gonna use Skittles today, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna use the colors that are in Skittles. So we have purple, red, yellow, green, and orange. And a fun game that we're gonna kind of look at kindness and how it relates to us is using Skittles and the colors. So I'm gonna reach into my bag of Skittles mm -hmm. and I'm gonna pull out a color. And what color is that, boys and girls? Is that red? It is red. Nice job, Mr. Seth. You know your colors. Why, thank you. <laughs> okay, so red. When I pull out a red, I'm going to think of how do you feel when you are kind to other people? Hmm. I feel good because when I'm kind to other people, it makes other people happy and it just wears off on them. It's contagious. Me too. It makes other people feel really good, doesn't it? It does. And it makes me feel good when I make other people smile. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Let's try it another color. Oh, what color did I pull out here? Green. <laughs> green. You're right, Mr. Seth. It's green. Nice job. Two Green's kind of like a frog. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All right. So green is, when was someone kind to you and how did it make you feel? So when was somebody kind to you? Oh. When was somebody kind to me? Like when my car was broken down and somebody actually stopped and helped me fix my car. And it was just made me feel so good that somebody actually cared so much to actually stop and help. That's a great example, Mr. Seth. And there is plenty of times when somebody might have helped you or held open a door or made you feel good when you were feeling mm -hmm. sad or down or helped you when you were in an emergency or a situation where you needed some extra yes, hands. Exactly. That's awesome. And I'm sure, boys and girls, that you might be able to think of a time that somebody, you know, helped you and it made you feel really good too. Yeah. All right, let's see what's the next color. What color is that? Purple! Purple, you're right. Purple like grapes, purple like plums, right? Mm, yeah. So purple for this game says, has someone ever been unkind to you and how did it make you feel? <sighs> yes, I've gotten picked on before just like anybody else. And if you go to school and get that one kid who just is down on himself and has to pick on you, I, I feel kind of crummy afterwards. Mm. It makes me feel sad. Yeah, and you start believing sometimes what other people say to you, but we all know that we're loved by Jesus, and maybe that person just needs some extra kindness yeah, to help just them, show right? them, Yeah, show them God's love. Mm -hmm. Let them just know that God loves them. Yeah, so I think for this one, it's very important for us to know how much God loves us, and He cares for us, and He created you just the way you are. Mm -hmm. But to also help those people who are, un or who are unkind to you, help them know how much God loves them. So instead of trying to pay them back and, and be mean back to them, maybe we can show them what Jesus is all about so mm -hmm. that they can also experience being loved by God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? Yes. That gives us a great opportunity to do that. Yeah. Awesome. Let's see what the next color is. Yellow. Oh, I love yellow. Yellow like bananas or the sun. Oh, oh. yellow like the sun. I, I love, love drawing sun. a picture oh. of the sun. Yes. <laughs> Making it nice and bright and yellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yellow says, how could you show kindness to someone you don't know? Oh, it's just a, as simple as a smile. Letting somebody say hi, or saying hi to somebody or smiling to them and let them know that you're being nice to them. When you do that, that's kind of contagious, which it means is. it kind of rubs off. It's really hard. It's really hard. See? <laughs> he made me giggle. It's really hard to be mean to someone when they're being so nice to you, exactly. right? Exactly. I agree. All right, let's see. Orange. Last one, last one. Oh, orange. My I, I love oranges. I spoiled the color again. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's my favorite color. It's the flavor of orange. Orange, yes. That's right. So orange has the question, what does kindness look like or sound like? Hi, how you doing? 
That's a great sound. That's right. And it makes somebody smile. Just making eye contact with somebody, giving them a smile and a wave, letting mm -hmm. them know that you're paying attention to them. Right? Exactly. Or maybe asking them if they need help or writing a card or coloring something for yes. them or baking something. Right? There's so many different ways that we can help others that makes it, that shows that kindness that makes mm -hmm. people feel really good about themselves. Yes. Right? So boys and girls, those are the five colors and those are the five questions with those colors. So you can go and play those games. And so anytime you pick out that color in your Skittle bag or M&M bag or even Fruit Loops, you have to ask yourself that question. So feel free to rewatch it so you know which questions go with which color. Yes. Right? Right. And if you need to know, we can post below and we can post the exact um, the Skittles game on there so mm -hmm. that everybody can see that. Right? Right. Awesome. So the other thing that I thought of with Skittles, because I love Skittles, is that when we're kind to somebody, it does spread, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It yes. spreads the love, it spreads the joy, all those things. So I thought we should show that with our Skittles. How? So if you put Skittles on a paper plate, and I'm gonna line my paper plate with the Skittles so they're all around in a circle, okay? And we're gonna show you. All right. And then Mr. Seth is going to Put water in the middle of the Skittles and see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. Is that enough? A little more? Let's see what happens. There we go. So as we watch, we're going to actually see the colors from our Skittles beginning to form all around. And what's happening? Looks like a rainbow. It does look like a rainbow, doesn't it? Yeah. It's creating this beautiful Skittle rainbow. So boys and girls, you can also create this at home with mom and dad's permission. I like how it's swirling. It is so beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So boys and girls, when we are so kind, it's amazing what happens. Yes. It brings us all together and it makes this beautiful rainbow of color. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? Oh, I love that rainbow too. Me too. It reminds me so much to be kind. And it reminds me about those verses that we had gone over in our play that the narrator went over. Yes. Isn't that awesome? It says, those who are kind benefit themselves, but mean people bring ruin to others in Proverbs 11, 17. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 4, 13 says, be kind and tender to one another, forgive another, just as God had forgiven you because of what Christ has done. done. And don't forget Luke 6, 31, the one we already talked about, do to others as you want to do to them. Yes, that's awesome, and it's a great reminder. Yes, but it's a great reminder. Yes, right? it Isn't is a it? great. That's all right. Forgiveness. Yes, exactly. <laughs> all right, so before we go, we are going to enjoy one more fun science experiment. Ooh. Will this be fun? Yes, I all can't right. wait to see So we are experiment. going to make a walking rainbow. <gasps> How do we do that, Miss Hannah? So in each color, so what's the first color of the rainbow? Red. Red. And the second one is? Orange. And the third one is? Yellow. yellow. And the fourth one is? Green. Yes, it's green. And the fifth one is? Blue. Blue. And sometimes people think purple and indigo at the end, but we're not, we're just going to do five colors today. <laughs> <laughs> we won't make it so complicated. Okay. So I have a cup filled with these colors, okay? And what we're going to do is we are going to make a rainbow. A rainbow. Oh. And we're going to make it walk. This is another fun experiment that can you can do walk? at home. So you, you need to have five colors and five cups. It's just food coloring and water. And then you're going to take a paper towel and you're going to fold it. And we're going to watch the water walk. Because when we're kind to others, it's going to spread from one color to the next. And we're just going to glow of what Jesus wants us to be. Oh, can't wait to see this. Isn't that awesome? Yes, it is. All right. Here we go. All right. So, boys and girls, here we go. We have red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Let's see what happens when we make a walking water. Oops. That one's already going up. 
The red's coming in, the orange, the yellow, the green, and the blue. Do you think that kindness is gonna spread from each color? <gasps> Look at it, it's already going. Here we go. Look at, so the red is starting to meet the orange and the orange is meeting the yellow and the yellow is meeting the green and the green is making the blue. So when we're kind to others, that joy and that color spreads from one, one person to the next. Isn't that awesome? What do you think, Mr. Seth? I think that's pretty cool. It's incredible? spreading out pretty good. This is called the walking rainbow. So remember, when we bring kindness to others, it's going to spread. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So that was great. We got to see the rainbow and the skills and the rocking rainbow with the cups and the food coloring. And I love being able to spread that joy and that kindness just like those rainbows. Don't you, Miss Anna? Yes, I do. So boys and girls, try to do something kind for somebody today and the next day. Try to do one every single day. Yes. Ask mom and dad if they need help. You know, ask your brother and sister if they want to play with something. Maybe make a card for a neighbor. Yes. Do something kind for somebody this week. Yeah, and after a while, you'll find yourself doing it just more and more for everybody else. Yes, and it not only helps them, but it helps you as well. So, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us this week. We will see you next week. We love you. Next week. Yes. <laughs> All right, see you then. Bye.